Which dilemma are you currently facing? Should I pursue corporate career or should I become self-employed and pursue my passion? Should I study law or psychology? Should I do this or that? There are lots of choices that we need to take in life. So today I want to give you a very basic tool that you can use to make decisions better and make sure that you're not gonna regret them. I will walk you through the tool and at the end I will explain to you why it works and how it works. And you're gonna discover something about yourself in the process. To start, I will actually ask you to come up with a dilemma that you're currently facing. This is the best way to engage in this video and not be just a passive viewer, but get really something out of it and apply the knowledge from this channel in your daily life. So let's think of a dilemma that you might be facing and I would like you to pause the video and write down a sentence, I want to decide da 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 and finish with the dilemma you're currently facing. Maybe it is, I want to decide whether I should change my job. That's a very standard thing that I think most of professionals consider at least once per year when the performance review happens. So maybe this could be something relevant or I want to decide whether I should pursue a new degree. It could be also something with two choices involved, like I want to decide A or B. And pause this video, give yourself a minute to think about it, write the sentence down and when you're ready, unpause it and we're going to make a next step. The tool is actually much, much older than the coaching profession is. And it's been developed by a French philosopher and mathematician, René Descartes. You might know that he also developed the coordinate systems, you know, the y-axis and x-axis. So, you know, dividing the um, space, if you like, into four different quadrants. And that's how these questions relate to each other. The first question you're going to ask yourself, what would happen if I did that, or if I did A, in case you have A and B versions. So in my case, it's gonna be, what would happen if I changed my job? And this is the moment to pause the video again and write down every single thing that comes to your mind. And unpause this video again whenever you're ready. Good, are you sure there is nothing else you could add? Maybe you want to take another five seconds to look at what you wrote down and come up with some more things. Let's move to the second question, which is what would happen if you didn't do it? So what would happen if I didn't change my job? In my case or in your, if you have a dilemma with A and B, what would happen if I went for B? So the second option. And again, please hit the pause button, give yourself some time to think. And when you're ready, you can unpause it again. All right, so are you sure there is nothing else to add? Maybe have a look, have an overthink, if there is anything that your brain missed. All right, when we're ready, we're going to move forward. So right now you have what would happen if you went for A, what would happen if you went for B. Or what would happen if you change your job? What would happen if you didn't change your job? So you have things that would happen, right? Now we're going to flip it and think about what would not happen. So what would not happen if you did the change you wanted to do? What would not happen if you went for A? And some answers might be similar to what you mentioned above already, but don't worry about this. Brain dump everything that comes to your mind. And again, feel free to pause this video to give yourself all the time you need. And once you have everything, unpause it. All right, now the final one, as you might already expect, in case you had choices A and B, you have what would happen if A, what would happen if B, what would not happen if A, what would not happen if B. So that's what you're going to write about now in case your dilemma is faced as uh, evaluating two different options. If it's just one option, like, should I do this or not? That question has a really tricky form in a way, because it sounds like, what would not happen if you didn't do the change? And this double negative does something in our brain that really triggers a kind of different reflection process. So. 
don't give up on this. It's the hardest question. And still try to think about what would not happen if you did not do the change. Again, feel free to pause this video and unpause whenever you're ready. Good, you evaluated the situation from four different perspectives. The benefit of this exercise now is that you can look at the piece of paper and all this mental chatter you had in your brain with all the different factors, they are staring into your face. <laughs> like you can see them all on one sheet of paper. Just look closely at them and think, what can you tell about it? Like, what did you discover by going through those questions? It could be some things that you have missed before, or it could be some reoccurring themes that are connected to your value or some selection criteria that are important to you. And with them, you should be able to get closer to the decision that you won't regret. Some decisions are a little bit more complex, so it could take a little bit more time to take them with confidence. And if that's the case with your dilemma, you have a couple of options. You can let this exercise sink and sleep over it. And in a couple of days, think of it again and try to reevaluate. Or you could actually try to contact a coach to dive deeper into some values or some criteria or some limiting beliefs, perhaps, that make you feel stuck in this dilemma and paralyze you from making a step forward in your choice. You could also try to walk through a slightly modified version of these questions. Sometimes the different formulation triggers different thoughts and gives your brain a little bit of different input, so you could come up with different answers as well. The modified questions are very similar, but instead of formulating it like what would happen, what would not happen, you actually ask for benefit and cost. So, what would you gain by choosing A or by going for something? What would you gain by choosing B or by not going for something? What would you lose by choosing A or by going for something? And what would you lose by choosing B or by not going for something? And this is a little bit different way to approach the same tool. I hope this was useful to you. And I'm going to try to share a different tool every single month so you will be able to really help yourself improve your quality of your life and take decisions that align with your values and aspirations and things that are important to you. This exercise should have helped you get a little bit more clarity on what's important for you in making this decision and what kind of aspects or values could motivate you. So now you distill them through these questions, you can reflect again about this decision you have to make with a little bit more clarity. And if you want to dive into a different tool to help you get unstuck, you can have a look at this one. I'll see you the next time.